Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's still here speaking. Today I'm going to introduce you uh, to audio unit and MIDI source inside Loopy Pro. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel, bringing more tutorials, videos, giveaways, etc, etc. So let's kick off. I'm inside Loopy Pro and I have enabled the mixer view because that is where you need to go to set up your audio units. If you don't know how to do that, then of course follow the previous tutorial, but in essence, um, you, you click on this icon here and you have the view of the mixer. And I also suggest that you maximize the view so you don't keep it like that, so you ensure that it is maximized. Um, I'm just running Loopy Pro inside my iPad. Therefore, I have a microphone as a hardware input. I'm not going to use it today, so I'm going to remove that. So I click on top of it and select Delete. If you um, move right at the bottom here where there is this plus sign, you click on it. Now, we explained in the previous tutorial you can add a color. You can also add an hardware input like a microphone, but it could be also an audio interface. And you can also add an audio unit input. So let's click on it. And, let, and as you can see, you have a list of um, audio units in which are present in my, on my iPad, on this iPad. So I'm going to choose Agonizer for the purposes of this tutorial. You can see you have a new uh, channel, a new strip channel here. And at the top, you see it is Ag Agonizer. You see the symbol, you click on it, and you have access to that audio unit. Let's go through the controls, which are included as part of Loopy Pro. First of all, you have an X here to close it, so you can reopen your course and you can maximize it here. And you can also go back to the previous size and you can also double click on the title to maximize it again. Okay, as, an, as you can see, it will redraw, it redraw itself. Um, you have also a set of buttons here on the top right hand side. You have an on and off. When you click uh, um, on the on button, it changes to idle and also it makes it muted here on the channel. And that uses uh, or ensure that you use less resources. So let's activate it again. Um, you can uh, click on that symbol to activate a keyboard. So you can use it similar to what you have in AUM. You have a folder symbol, which gives you access to um, presets. Uh, which comes with that audio unit, and you can create also a new one there, which is very good. As you can see, I have a two one, which I previously created there. Then you have access to these uh, cogs for settings, so you click on it. This is where you can change uh, your gaining. You can also mute it if you like so. And uh, again, it goes down to mute here on the channel, on the mixer. So let's reactivate it. So you can change your gain in decibel. You can have monitoring through. Of course, if that is off, well, you don't hear anything anymore from Agonizer. So let's activate that. And as we showed in the previous tutorial, you can also select the which channel you want to monitor it from. And also you can assign a color as well. Down here, you have access to MIDI sources okay and um, down here you also have access to the destination which is exactly the same thing that you would have access to if you go back to the mixer and click on the colors here as i showed in the previous tutorial when i explained um, how to use the hardware input in in that particular case the microphone so it's the same thing you can access to the destination here which are the colors which correspond to the trucks uh, or strip channels that you see in the mixer. So let's go back to um, Agonizer here. At the moment, it is set to go to all destinations, so any loop will be able to record from uh, Agonizer. So let's try that straight away. So let's click on uh, a, a loop and record something. And just pay attention that at the moment we don't have anything set on the tempo. So there is no tempo, there is also no uh, number of measure to be recorded or bars. So let's click on it. As you can see, nothing is moving, but now we can play. And as you can see, it keeps recording until you stop. Okay, and then of course, when it stops, it plays straight away as, that, as those are the settings uh, which are currently 
on and as you can see I have recorded audio not MIDI audio coming from agonizer into that first loop okay the next thing I want to show you is that you can also add an external an external MIDI controller so you can either do that clicking on the settings here then going into MIDI sources then you can uh, add a MIDI source directly with this button I will show you that in a moment but you can also have access to Bluetooth here and um, with that you have also a panic button which comes very handy if you have a stuck note let's, let's click on the Bluetooth um, symbol let's activate my external AKI controller and let's connect to it okay when I've done that I establish only the connection via Bluetooth so if I click on my external controller nothing happens that's because I still need to select my MIDI source so I go to MIDI sources I select add MIDI source and as you can see you have an icon here which says now Akai wireless controller the LPK25 so I click on it okay then I come out from there and let's use my external controller now okay as you can see now we have an external MIDI controller which is controlling agonizer okay perfect now let's uh, deactivate that because what I want to show you is um, how to add additional MIDI sources I go back to the cogs there I go to that MIDI sources and I click and hold move to the left here and I delete the connection okay so you have also access to MIDI sources through the plus button down here on the bottom right hand side you click on it and you can select add MIDI and you have the same view as before um, where you can select other audio unit which are related to MIDI processor so in this case let's use a familiar one called step bud like so and also let's remove this channel which I previously added for the external controller because that is what it does when you add a MIDI source so you will add it as a strip channel so now we have um, um, step bud which um, is already working because you can see here um, through um, the meter that is working is producing notes because uh, we have uh, loopy pro in play mode so if you click stop there it will stop as well which is the similar thing of using uh, uh, play clicking on the play button in AUM if you're familiar with that so let's remove that and select clear on that audio loop then what we're going to do here you see on the destination plus sign which is empty let's click on it and let's select a destination and there are th different things you can do here you can for example go to agonizer but you can go also to other application including going to a virtual media output so let's select agonizer so in this case the step bud is actually going directly into agonizer so let's click play and nothing will happen because we don't have any tempo selected or any bar selected in terms of length so let's go back up here on the tempo selection let's select a tempo and why not also bar and now let's click play and as you can hear step bud is actually running so let's open up step bud let's maximize the view let's why not change the scale here to minor like so and let's um, randomize some notes something like that um, okay and let's uh, play okay so what's happening is that um, a step body is used as a MIDI source as an audio unit MIDI source or processor which is going directly as an um, uh, output into agonizer so now we can use these to actually record inside different loops and uh, if we have a tempo selected and we have a bar selected we're recording only for that amount of uh, for that length in terms of, of bar and at the tempo so let's um, why not activate these and record at the same time okay let's stop that and let's mute step bud and let's uh, play directly on the audio loop that we recorded oops I need to click play here okay I 
could have achieved also the same thing of blocking the output coming from agonizer uh, with muting uh, directly agonizing instead of step pad. So let's try. Okay. And you can continue like this. It is very powerful. So for example, you can go into agonizer, you can choose a, a different preset. Okay. Uh, oops, let's unmute that. Okay, perfect. And then why not? Let's click play and record another loop. Okay, let's stop that. Let's mute Agonizer and let's click play. Okay, so I'm going to stop here for this tutorial. As you can see, it is very straightforward to add the audio unit inside Loopy Pro and also add MIDI sources, which can be an external MIDI controller or it can also be an external MIDI processor through audio unit. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. See you at the next video. Bye.